boy. Yeah. Well, it's time now for today's Top Talker. We're going to move on for you, Jay. Thank Many you. of you, this is a serious story, have been following the story of John Demjanjuk. He's known as the so-called Ivan the Terrible and worked in Seven Hills for a while. There's also a Netflix series about him. But now, an archive in Berlin claims they have pictures that prove once and for all Demjanjuk worked as a Nazi death camp guard. Andrew Horansky, what have you learned? This is a, this is a story that just never it ends. Never goes away. There are so many twists and turns to this. And I want to put out there that there are now these pictures that supposedly show him working at a death camp. These pictures have not yet been made public. They supposedly will be next week. They are part of an archive in Germany that is called the Topography of Terror. The group keeps historical records related to the Holocaust. And this week they are telling the German media that these new pictures come from the estate of an SS officer. Wow. Now that officer was killed apparently during an inmate uprising in 1943 at Sobibor, a death camp where Ivan the Terrible also worked. Apparently. The pictures will be published in a new book, released in a week, and the world will see for itself. At a time when there, of course, has been renewed interest, Betsy, as you mentioned, in this case with The Devil Next Door, a documentary on Netflix on Demjanjuk that was released last year and had a lot of people talking. Now, I spoke with his family uh, at the time. They hated that documentary, believing it led viewers to conclude that he was guilty. They've said he is not. They stand by that. And I spoke with them again today about these pictures. They have not seen them yet. They did not want to comment on camera until they do, but they, let's just say, believe that this is a way to try to stir up buzz and sell a book. Well, they've done that. Yeah. Uh, do we know how many pictures exist? And is there any corroboration that this will prove to be Ivan? Well, you know, there are experts you can get to say just about anything. I mean, they had his ID card, right? right? And so at that point, you know, you would think that, well, was it him or wasn't it him? And there are people who will disagree over looking at that. I think the big question is, why are these surfacing now? I mean, this guy died in 1943, yeah. and these pictures have been around for a while, so they're surfacing now. Apparently, there are more than 350 of them, but we don't know how many of them actually do show John Demjanjuk. Mm -hmm. Again, if they show John Demjanjuk, right. uh, I think you will find experts in Germany who will speak on either side of this. It is him, it isn't him. And that is something that has been going on now, as we know, for decades. And Demjanjuk himself passed away in 2012. 2012. So this yeah. is far removed from that, too. Yes. Wow. Well, perhaps it will bring to an end the ongoing saga, is he or isn't he? At the very least, Proceed. it will keep the conversation going <laughs> yeah. into another decade as we're in 2020. Thanks right. so much, Andrew. Very sure, good. of course.